Hello, good morning, and welcome to this brief follow-on tutorial about the Helix Decentralized Exchange. So I've been getting some great questions on my YouTube channel from Zach, Wickhands, and G Galways regarding the initial swap and how I made the initial swap from Atom to Injective because on the Helix site, you're gonna be paying in injective in order to do that swap. And so I didn't actually document that. What happened the first time I came on? How did that swap go through and what did it look like? So that's why I wanted to do that here. Because again, I thought that was a great question because I didn't have the answer. And questions are phenomenal. I love it. Love interacting with you guys on the channel. So real quickly, just remember, this is not investment advice. I'm not an investment advisor. You are investing at your own risk. This is simply for entertainment and educational purposes only. So let's dive in. Again, what are we addressing in the video? It's going to be, how did I do the first swap? So I've got this test Kepler wallet here uh, that I keep to just kind of mess around with. And so what I did was I sent in a quarter of an atom here, right? I sent in 0.25 atom to this wallet off of my main wallet. So now I've got 0.25 atom here in my Kepler wallet. So this is going to see me not as the user that I made the first video as, it's gonna see me as this net new user who has no uh, assets on this Helix, Helix exchange. So let's go ahead and connect the wallet up. I'm gonna click confirm and I'm gonna connect my Kepler wallet. So I'll click connect. I'm going to go ahead and improve, right? I'm going to approve that, and there you go. And so it shows my, my new Kepler wallet address. So this is my test Kepler wallet address. So if I go to account, what we should see is that I don't have any assets here. You can see that I have no injective, um, and I haven't deposited any of the atom here yet. So remember, that's what we would have to do. So I'm going to click Deposit. Uh, and it's going to come over here for the Cosmos Hub, and I'll click Approve because it's the atom I'm trying to get to, right? That 0.25 atom. I'm going to pull the max, and let's go ahead and say Deposit Now. It'll be interesting to see if this works because this is paid in atom, so I'm wondering how that's going to work because it's, again, it's 0.25. So does it pull the fee? You can see it's going to charge 0 0.0075 atom. I'm going to click Approve. And let's see if what it does, if it deducts that 0 0.0075, ah, so you can see you don't have enough funds down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. We'll do the max and I guess we'll change it to 0.24. And that should be enough to allow me to get the fee on here. Now this worked with my other wallet because I've got a bunch of Atom in the other wallet. Here I just have this 0.25. There's no other slush fund to pull from. So I've got enough to make the, the trade here. Let's click Approve. And now this should go through. And again, I'm bringing it from the Cosmos Hub over to Injective. And that's funny. It says I don't have enough. I should have had enough. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'll click Approve. We'll let it bomb out here. And I'll change it to 0.2, meaning that we should have well more than enough Atom to make this go through. Yeah, because you can see here it's doesn't like that. So let's change this. I guess I'll change it to 0 0.2. Probably should have brought, whoops, probably should have brought uh, some more Atom over here with me. So we'll just leave it at 0 0.20. And then we should have plenty of Atom here. So now let me confirm. It's going to cost 0 0.0075 Atom. And we should not see, there we go. Okay, transaction successful. So we played around with the numbers enough. Uh, and again, you can see that it shows, and this is what I was commenting on in my first video. There we go. It finally updated. If you click the refresh, it'll, it'll get it a little quicker, but it did update. So that's what we've got left. We've got 0.02 Atom uh, left, but that's not what we're interested in here. We're interested in coming over to account because now I see my Atom. Again, you can clearly see I have no injective, right? So how do I swap my Atom to injective? Well, we'll come to trade. We'll go to swap. And let's see if this is going to work. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pick on that 0.2 atom. I want to swap it to injective. And we'll do max. And there we go. And you can clearly see right here the fees, right? It's going to swap the atom to USDT and then the USDT to injective. And it gives you a breakdown. And that's what it's going to cost, right? 0.004 dollars for each of those 
actions combined, it's 0 0.008. But again, um, the fee, I believe, is going to be an injective. And the rate expired again, so that was the thing I commented on earlier. I thought it would auto-magically swap it for you, but you have to click it again. So here we go, and let's see what happens here. And you can see it's going to charge 0 0.001082 injective, or right around four cents. I'm going to click approve, <clears throat> excuse me, and let's see what happens. Because the first time I did it, it worked. And there you go. And so the swap works with zero injective on the exchange, right? And you just saw that it worked with zero injective on the exchange. So what I think is happening here, uh, and I'd have to go back and rewatch this, is that uh, this injective that I received, that the fee was deducted from this injective. At least that's what I believe is happening there, right? So another question I was asked was, how well, how do you sell, right? So if I came to a spot trade, um, and let's just say that I wanted to buy, uh, where is it at? The Ninja. So we'll say if I wanted to buy some Ninja, I would go ahead and I'll say 75% of my injective that I have, and I would click on buy. And again, this is a spot buy. It's just going to buy it at whatever the price is. You can see we've got a tiny fee, right? To make that happen, we should get a confirmation right down here. Your order's been placed. So if I came over to account, uh, we should see here, and it does take it a few seconds, and I just click refresh here. Uh, before it showed up in the previous video, it did take about five minutes before the order was finally um, successful. Uh, and it should show up as, oh, you've got some Ninja now. And so the reverse to get out of that is you would simply go to, and I was hoping that it would show up here, but you would go back to the spot trade. Let's go back to the pair that I had purchased, which was the Ninja Injective. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and here it is. And you can see it tells me the available injective that's here. If I wanted to click Sell Ninja, and let's see an insufficient balance. So looks like I might not have enough to sell here. Or it could be, again, that it's still not in uh, my account. Yeah, it just hasn't shown up in the account yet. But that's how you would back out of it, right? You would go to Trade. You would go to Spot. You would go back to that pair. You would click on, and this says Sell Injective, but let's say it's Ninja. Sell Ninja. And then if you're selling 100%, you're going to click 100%. And then you're going to come down, you're going to click sell, right? And then that's going to sell it. You're going to get injective back for that. And then you could do whatever you want. So uh, one of the questions I also received, it was G. Galloway had asked me about, well, why don't you just put injective into your Kepler wallet? And so uh, again, the scenario was uh, trying to avoid the Ethereum fees with MetaMask, right? So if you get injective on Coinbase, which was what I was using to purchase the Atom, or what I said I used to purchase the Atom, um, then you can use the Cosmos network to make that transfer. But if you buy Injective on Coinbase, it's got an Ethereum address attached to it. And so you cannot transfer that on the Cosmos. You're gonna end up transferring that on the Ethereum blockchain over to a MetaMask wallet. Right. And so that was that's the fee that we were trying to avoid. Again, there's definitely more than one way to do this. If you can get injective somewhere else uh, where it would be on the cosmos, then that that would be a great way to do it as well. Uh, and our scenario, again, was, you know, buying on Coinbase like Binance US, you cannot get injective on Binance US. So that that's a non-starter. But the Coinbase, you can get the atom, put the atom in your transfer to your Kepler wallet deposit it here onto the Helix exchange and then go ahead and make your purchases. So, you know, again, as we saw, you do not need any injective in order to make that initial swap. And it's such a tiny amount, the fee. My guess is, again, that they're pulling it out of the uh, resulting injective that you're going to get from the swap for that initial swap. All right, guys. Well, hey, I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm glad I got this question because, again, I did not remember how that went down. And as soon as I saw the question, I'm like, that is a great question. How did that work? All right. So really appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And that is all I've got here from the Evil Command Center. You guys have a good one. Talk to you later.